Hi, I'm Mary Logsdon, and once again, here I am at your library. Today at your library, I'm seated in another one of my favorite places on the second floor adult services area in the southeast corner. This lovely area back here um, was designed for folks to um, sit uh, and read, study, um, have quiet conversations um, in a variety of seating, as you can tell. One of the things that it's possible to do now uh, is to actually check out a laptop and bring it to this corner, if that's something that you might like to do at your library. The library has just recently opened our um, service of uh, checkout of devices such as laptops and iPads, actually. If you're interested in using a laptop computer, all you need to do is stop at our adult services desk and ask to check out a computer. Lots of people come to the library to use our desktop computers, which are located throughout the second floor area, but we recognize that there are some people who may not want to only sit at the desktop areas, um, but might instead choose to use a laptop while seated here, for example, or check out a laptop and bring it to one of our study rooms. Um, if you're attending a meeting at the library and it would be helpful for you to have a, a laptop computer for that, again, just stop at the adult services desk. As you can see, the laptops actually do have a barcode on them, so we are checking them out to you on your account. So you do need to have an account in good standing in order to check out a laptop. And um, we have uh, the checkout period set for three hours. And, and when you're finished, we ask you to bring the laptop back to the desk where you got it from originally. That's one of many new services here at your library. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask. Well, not only are uh, uh, laptops available now to check out at the library, which is a pretty cool service, um, we have in our magazine area uh, iPads that are preloaded with our Zinio for Libraries app. If you haven't checked out the library's uh, streaming magazine collection, um, please take a minute to do so the next time you're here at the library. As you can see, I'm seated in our wonderful magazine and newspaper reading lounge. Um, you're, of course, welcome to come and check out any of the magazines uh, that are here in the library. Um, and you can take them home for one week. That would be uh, everything except for our most recent issue of magazines. And as you can tell, we have a lot of them here at the library. But in the last couple of years, we've actually added a new uh, service online, Zinio for Libraries, which contains about 80 magazines that are also available for you through your computer or iPad or whatever device it is that you use to download content. Zinio is just really a nice, um, easy on the eyes kind of magazine that if you come to our library we are hoping that you'll explore on one of the iPads that are set up right here on this reading table. You just scroll through to see all of the magazines that we currently have on this collection and while you're here if you wish to just check something out and, and read it and see if you like reading a magazine on on an iPad, um, all you need to do is tap the screen. So here I'm looking at the most recent issue of Dwell. And you just continue to swipe through it and read the magazine the way that you would flip the pages on a print issue of a magazine. There's a lot that I can tell you about Zinio. Today I just want you to know that it exists and that we've set up a couple of iPads for you so that you can, as I said, begin to explore reading magazines on a device and see if you like it. If you really do like it and you want to start checking them out uh, from your own device or from your computer at home, um, we'd be happy to tell you more about what you need to do in order for that to happen easily. Um, I'll just tease you a little bit and let you know that if you do check out the magazines, um, first of all, there is no limit to the amount of magazines that you can check out. 
you can have the most recent issue in your in your hands and um, there's one more thing you have it for as long as you want to have it onto your on your device so they basically are checked out to you for as long as you want to keep it that don't actually have to be returned so those are some of the nice features of our Zinio for Libraries um, collection that are currently featured on iPads right here in the magazine area. Well, now I've told you about our new laptops for checkout, our new iPads loaded with our Zinio um, collection. But there also are some new programs happening here at the library. And in April, actually, we are going to be returning to some of our basics computer basics that is, we're happy to be able to offer again a weekly series of computer basics um, sessions here at the library. They will be on Wednesdays in the PEO room here on the second floor in our historic section of the library. If you haven't yet been to a meeting um, in, the, um, in any of our meeting rooms on the second floor, this would be a great time for you to check it out. We have a library staff member who is going to be taking you through some really basic computer training beginning on Wednesday, April 1st. We're going to just be talking about the introduction to the computers. On April 8th, introduction to web browsers. April 15th, introduction to computer files. And then on April 22nd, introduction to email. These sessions will begin each Wednesday at 2 o'clock two o'clock in the PEO room, and we're figuring they'll last about an hour and a half. There is a limit on how many folks we can have. We'll be using our laptops, because we can take them anywhere in the library, and it would be great if you want to be sure to get a spot, if you would call um, the Ames Public Library at 239-5646, choose number four for the Adult Services and Reference Desk, and we'd be happy to get your name on a list Otherwise, just drop in and chances are you will be able to get a seat in one of our sessions. If you have any other questions about what we're covering, um, please don't hesitate to call the same number um, and we'll be happy to answer your questions. So if you or someone you know would benefit from just a really basic walk through um, uh, everything that you need to know in order to be an effective computer user, um, please get the word out and uh, come to the Computer Basics series this April. And you don't need to come to all of them, by the way. You might come to one, you might come to all of them. Just really hope that you will get, help us to get the word out. So that's laptops, we have iPads, we have computer programs. One more thing that I'm excited to share with you is that in um, April, we now have um, returned with our uh, materials in Spanish, our Spanish language collection. Um, we have just a small collection of books in Spanish that we are now featuring in the area just south of our travel book um, collection. Uh, what we have started with in Spanish are primarily books um, written by uh, authors who write in Spanish as their first language, um, a little bit of nonfiction, and a little bit of translations of popular um, English language books that have been translated into Spanish. So at this point we have several hundred titles um, and um, it, as I said it's mostly fiction, Most uh, we have different genres uh, and so hopefully we'll get a sense of what it is people who are interested in reading books in Spanish are interested in reading and we will continue to develop the collection um, as we go forward. So please don't hesitate to stop and check out our books in Spanish. Our Spanish language books um, are clearly marked with a label that says Spanish on the spine so you cannot miss it. Now stick around and I know that there will be passing by your screen a few of the other new items that have recently been added to the Ames Public Library collection.
Well, those are just a few of the new items that we've recently added to the library's collection. Today, I hope you've enjoyed also hearing about some of the new services, programs, and other collections that we are introducing to the library community. Please remember to always check our library calendar of events, which is available, page one, um, in the library building, as well as on the library website. If you're on Facebook, uh, check out our library Facebook page because we often post uh, great information there about what's happening at the library as well as just engage with folks about uh, what they're reading and you might find that you get some great ideas from your neighbors about um, great reads and great things to do at your library. Well, this is Mary Logsdon, once again at your library. Thanks so much for joining me.